In this tip of the day, let's take a look at manually defining depths of cut when roughing a pocket. If we take a look at this pocket over here on the left, you can see that we have a flat area right here that's at minus 100 thousandths, and this flat area is at minus 250 thousandths. The very bottom of the part is at minus 500 thousandths. What I'm going to demonstrate is how you can make a pocket operation that machines exactly at the Z depths that you want. So let's quickly head over to the Command Manager, select Model Tool Pass, and then Z Level Rough. Now I've already defined a tool, which is a half inch diameter end mill. That looks fine, so let's click Next on that. Our clearance planes look great, so we'll click Next on that. And what I'm about to demonstrate works with the traditional style machining. All right, so we have traditional selected. Let's click Next on that. To keep things simple, we're just going to use the plunge approach style. We're going to spiral outwards, and we're going to climb cut. We'll click Next on that. Now for depth of cut, I really want one CNC to ignore this. So I'm going to put in a huge value. In fact, I'm going to put in something like one inch there. All right, let's click Next on that. And here where it says extra depths, you want to make sure that you have manual selected. Now for the first level, I'm going to type in minus 100 thousandths and then click Add. I'm also going to type in minus 250 thousandths and click Add. All right, and for the last depth of cut, we can use this option right here where it says Z bottom. The actual parts has a thickness of a half inch, so I might go a little bit deeper. How about minus 520 thousandths? Okay, so here's what's going to happen. One CNC is going to cut at minus 100 thousandths, minus 250 thousandths, and the very last pass is going to be at minus 520 thousandths. We'll click finish on that. I'm going to just click on the boundary, right hand mouse click, let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now let's change our view to a front view and let's change our display to transparent and let's zoom in a little bit on that left pocket. Now if I just click on that Z level rough operation, you can see that we have one toolpath at minus 100 thousandths, another toolpath at minus 250 thousandths, and the last toolpath is at minus 520 thousandths. So setting up custom depths of cut within one CNC is very simple. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.